kill some people. Uh, so where are the people? Okay, one near Iverstead, and I need to go to Iverstead to go up the mountain. Go to Rifted Stables. Might buy a horse because I think it's time to get a horse. Okay, we're at the stables. We could steal the horse, but I don't want to do that. Because I'm legit face. Um, it's going to wait. Right, okay. Boom. Shit. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Try not to press the wrong button and foos for a horse, if possible. Got the right keys now. <laughs> Too lazy. Got horses that need shoeing. My horse. Don't mind if you do. What's your price? Sold. She's all yours. She's already saddled up. Where is she? Ah. Now I don't know if it's worth the grand, but I've got her anyway. So. Ah. Right. Okay. Well, they can catch up with me, but. I'm going to kill. Right, so we just follow the road coming out of. Hmm, I think what I'm gonna have to do is go round there. So, who am I killing here? Nafari. Um, I'm gonna skip until. Something happens in this, by the way. So, um, right, okay. Afferry. Right, okay. I'll skip until something happens along this road. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is a tricky one. Got them spiders. This is hard. I could run away from them, but this is actually fairly entertaining. Ooh. Plus XP, you know. My light armor and my one handed isn't getting increased. Okay, let's get some distance. Um, actually, I'm using iron arrows at the moment, aren't I? Steel, I've got more of them. That's all of them. Nice. That was good. That was good, actually. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Oh shit. Ah ha ha. Suck it, wolf. Shit. Is that a dragon? Shit it is. I think it's best to get our force back. I do a good old save. <laughs> oh, oh. Shit, right. ordinary dragon it should be easy enough but he isn't near me he's like I think he's fighting Lydia and that I can actually not get a shot on him oh well, maybe not oh there it is frost dragon Come on. See, this is why I love Skyrim. You can just like travel and just like meet, just like get into dragons and start fighting with them. Hopefully, he's in a still place now. And because I'm fighting with Lydia and that. He's not actually going for me. Damn it, he's not in a still position. Oh shit, that was shit. Whoa, matey. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this thing is raping me. Oh, level up. Oh, I think I'm lucky. Health. Brings my health up to full. Oh my god. He's absolutely obliterating me. Hey, that, you stupid fucking dragon. Oh god, oh god. Oh, wow. Dragons are hard on this difficulty. Where's Lydia? Is she dead? Sweet. Alright, so magic map for death. Aw. Sweet, map for death. Um Alright, where's my horse? Horse is not dead, that's good. So the cost a grand to get you. Oh and Lydia's still alive. So, not lost any followers, not lost me, and my horse is still here. I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. I may have roots in Cyrodiil, but Skyrim's as much my home as any Nords.
Yeah, do. I grew up in Cyrodiil and... Well, let's just say my home is not Cyrodiil anymore. I've changed ways. Although my original home... For Bretons, at least. Is in... Who's this? Is it a prisoner? This one has something sweet for the fellow traveler, if it entices. Uh, what are you talking about? The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Um. Uh, this doesn't seem legal. Ah, snitch, eh? Can't have you running to any guards now, can I? You're dead. <laughs> Oh god, he's good. Oh shit, he's really good. Oh shit. So I always panic in these situations. Well, I'll have moon sugar then. I'll uh, take you skooma. Fine boots. Pretty sexy. Thank you, mate. Nine gauntlets. Take them. Wow, well, fucking hell. These followers, I swear. Very handy. Oh well, wow. one minute. Okay. Moon sugar was pretty easy to come by. I think. Okay, what's this sign say? Iverstead and Helgen does it say you uh, I don't know. Oh god. Sorted. Wow, I am actually getting really owned. I think I'm gonna have to invest more perks into the light armor. That dragon. Whew, that was close. I don't think I want to ever come that close again. I think this is where I'm supposed to be. Yep. I'll park outside. Arstead is a nice place. I do like it. Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a Begin. thing has not happened. Yeah. I think we'll uh, discover that place and all that later. First, I think I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy. I'm just going to wait. Alright, that plant. Oh, yeah. Where are you, Ninroot? Ah, oh, invisible Ninru. Ah, oh, look at how beautiful that is. Wow. Actually gonna take a screenshot. Oh shit. My brother Vilcus oh. is about to Oh my god. Yeah, I seriously just press F10. Oh. Oh yes, of course. Of course, of course. <sighs> when I wait, I get auto saves. Oh my god, guys. I thought I just lost the whole of this LP. Tell that fucking in route. I can wait. I remember this guy being very easy to kill, but... Well, mate, mind up what you're gonna do, mate. Really, guys, I'm trying to be stealthy here. And they're just coming out with torches and running in my face. I think it's time we do a, 
a save since that little worry there. And we're done. Pretty nice. Pretty easy kill, I'm not gonna lie. Just one arrow into his face. We're done. I'm gonna sleep in the inn. And then we're gonna do some more contracts later on. Okay, so we just got some rest. Um, we're gonna go over to do the Greybeard mission now. I can't exactly remember what we just did because I took a nap and then um, this is the next day of when I recorded the last little bit so um, I think we just killed the guy and now we're gonna go over to see the Greybeards. Uh, On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting deep. Passing through right. on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Um... What type of deliveries do you make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know. Things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Um, I can do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Um... Anything I should watch out for? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Um, anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thuum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Alright, thank you. Be careful up there. Alright. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to time me climbing these steps to see how long the 7,000 steps actually take. So... Right, done. Right, now I want to get my number 2 out because I know that there's stuff up here. Right. Oh shit. You tell, take that. It's pretty steep, though. I mean, it is 7,000 steps, I suppose. This guy, what the fuck's he doing? Oh, the pipe's out for Might as well. Do they have anything, goats? No. Alright. Uh, oh, this one has something though. Oh, my arrow I put into it, so. It's so really worth killing for the archery skill. an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Did you hear the greybeards called Dovakin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Um, what are you doing? I like to spend time up here. 
Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit the Great Bits? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. I... Um, I would kill him because he looks like he's got some useless stuff, but you know, I'm not I'm not the type that would kill innocent people. I mean the Dark Brotherhood, they don't always kill innocent people, you know. Sometimes you'll get the odd person who just hates the person and they're not really, you know, um they're still innocent and it's a bit too much to kill them, but you know, most of them are like Oh god. Ah, oh, damn it, Wolf got away. He just got it. Oh shit, that's another one. Oh. Jessica! Since when did you get a cloak? Still here. What do you want me to carry? That cloak that you got on. Hey, right, fucking give me that, bitch. It's in a cold area. I need to change my cloak when it, I'm gonna close it. Cold area. Does it suit me? Nah. I'm matted up and, uh. Put the brown one on. If you're wondering why I'm like all my clothes are icy and my face is cold and everything, same for these I'm right two. Behind you. Um, what do you want me to carry? Um, it's a mod called Cold. Oh shit! This is gonna do me in. Uh, cold and Lead something. On. Oh shit! I can't remember. Oh, isn't this all oh, five this? Uh, do I look up does it I think it's called wet and cold, that's the mod, that's it, wet and cold. And it basically when it's rainy all your clothes get wet and drippy and if you look up like some of the rain will scan your eye and it's like blurry for a second. When it's snowy all your clothes get frosty and your arrows and your, your bow and they all get like frost up. Adds a bit of immersion to the game. Uh, this is my character here. But yeah it just adds a little bit of immersion and it makes the game so much cooler. I mean like look at all my clothes are iced and everything. I wish they would do that in like just the game, you know. It'd be a really cool thing that they did. But I mean you can't get everything I suppose, but still it'd be a cool feature to have like normally in the game. Ooh. Now okay, now I'll climb to the seven thousand steps and it's a bit boring at this point. Um uh, oh, actually, there's a character here. I'll talk to this person first because it'll be annoying waiting, not talking, and everything. So, keep an eye. I. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Uh, who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that if you don't mind. Uh, what are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. <sighs> okay, you were boring. Um, <clears throat> now, what I was gonna say was, um, what are your thoughts for Elder Scrolls Online? Um, I mean, to me, they've looked like they've kind of gone MMO people. We're not really focusing on you, Elder Scrolls fans. You're gonna get what you want, which is basically just an online version of Skyrim. <laughs> 
that uh, with what's really cool about it is that of course it's on PC and it's an MMO and the next gen um, the all the towns and villages and everything will be a much bigger um, I think it's slightly in the future so everything will be quite the same as we all know it from like Oblivion and Morrowind and then that's another thing like it's all it's got the whole of Tamriel it's not just Skyrim you know and it looks really good I mean to be honest um, then I don't think they've really gone for a these guys are fucking this fast crawl up. They don't even give a damn. There we go. Sweet. Uh, arrows, troll fire. And yeah, what do you guys think on the, the game? I know I'm not going to get many comments because not many views, but you know, that would be a good thing to put up. Um, and if I'm honest, I'm glad I'm not an MMO person. Um, I can play the odd one, like um, Guild Wars 2, I could easily play, but uh, there's a little glitch going on with Guild Wars 2 at the moment, I don't know why, but I can't play it, because they, they basically fucked me, and that would be a game I could play though, um, I think, um, and I do have some MMOs, but it, they seem to focus on the Elder Scrolls fans, and I love Elder Scrolls, I don't even care. And give me a second, guys. And I'm back. Right, so um, I was just talking about how I can't remember. I think it was Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, they're not focusing on, um, you know, people who are MMO, you know, they, they love MMOs. And I guess that's, that's the price, I suppose. I mean, MMOs are my thing. So the fact that they're doing it like this is really good. And I can't wait to play the game. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, uh, me and uh, Sam and Sean are gonna play that game to hell. I think. Well, me and Sam at least. Sean's not really an Elder Scrolls person, but we just like the look of the game, so he'll be joining us for a bit. Um, yeah. So uh, if you do watch this video please give me your thoughts on it in the comments and we're at the graybeard so it took me about 10 minutes to get here hmm yeah 10 minutes it's not the amazing of the amazing steps but 10 minutes in Skyrim I suppose is quite a long time um, the supplies. There it is. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. I don't want to go in until the next episode and actually do the quest. Um, because it is quite a long training episode. So I'm going to stop right here guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please uh, check out the videos on YouTube. Um, and hopefully we'll be playing a lot more variety soon. It's just that Skyrim is a game I'm playing so much at the moment because it's so fun. And actually it irritates me when I'm rendering because I just want to record the next episode because I'm having so much fun with it. So that's why this is coming out like no tomorrow. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time.